tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these team special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. Fresh out of the locker room, they hit him with a gain of over 20. I'd have to say that whenever you see a good post route run, they do not like to let it end without the catch. Hence, that great diving play. Yeah, lay it up there, let him go get it, and he got it. Throwing now, Griffin on first down. He's got his man sharp, complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. First down. First and 10 at the 48 yard line. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll run now with Bo Jackson. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And it'll be second and 12. Out of the gun, Griffin. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. This defense trying to do its part, active hands on that play, but their offense hasn't given them much to work with. So they're not going to worry about it. On their side of the ball, all they're concerned about, can they create some scoring opportunities and help out that offense? Griffin. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. That's going to be caught. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Michael Irvin, 55 yards, as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. Extra point by Stenerud, up and good, and that makes the score 7-0. Following the touchdown, here's Stenerud to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Blitz coming, and down he goes. That was Ronnie Lott on the safety blitz as he gets the sack. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Now it's Smith running right. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. I was pretty surprised there when they lined up to run it on second and long, but it worked out for them. It certainly did, and that requires some confidence, some fortitude, and a little bit of hope, doesn't it? You hope you catch the defense just right and break off a big run to help yourself out on the next down. Now Jackson. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by the Hall of Famer, Ronnie Lott. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now a give, right side. Jackson. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. To throw is RG3. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. No gain on that one, and it's going to bring up a third down. The defense loves to hang their hat on that, don't they? You get a guy that catches the ball, but you stop him for no gain. Without a doubt, because they're also used to trying to catch people after the catch, and they miss. And that turns into what? A huge play. We've seen it so many times. In this case, though, 
catch was made, put down right on the spot. Oh, did he hang on to it? He did on the dive. Nice grab. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. Well, that's just simply not right. To make that kind of a catch, that spectacular, and not get a first down out of it. I guess he can put it on his personal highlight reel, however. Yeah, he'll get the catch, he'll get the yardage, but he doesn't get what he really wants. Well, the offense failed earlier on the previous crack at this, but they're going again on fourth down. They're going on fourth down. It's Griffin. That's complete to Calvin Johnson. Wow, first and goal, and defensively, all they can do is shake their heads. Not only did they allow the conversion, but a big play as well. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. Again, it's Jackson as he'll stay on the ground. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. They come out here in the eye. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. Griffin keeps it. And he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field, and I don't think he got there. So call that no gain on the sneak, and now they're still a yard short here on fourth. They converted once earlier on this opening drive, but now comes a big test. Fourth and goal. They'll try the ground game with Jackson. And he is in. Touchdown, New England. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. Extra point by Stinnerud, up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. Following the touchdown, here's Stinnerud to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. And you're still in this game. I mean, yeah, you haven't scored. Offense obviously has struggled, but you're only two scores down, so all hope not lost. Not a and a big loss here as he's taken down. Bruce Smith able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Now this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. Now Jackson back into his end zone. And they're going to sack him again. The fifth time they've gotten him today, and this one results in a safety. Well, there is still time to recover from this. It remains a two-score game even with the two points there, but let's just say things not trending in the right direction. I like that phrase. I'm going to say it along with you. Things are definitely not trending in the right direction. They needed something on that drive. Instead, they gave up two points and a lot of hope. They'll throw on first down with Griffin. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Brian Dawkins, the safety with a pick. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And last time they surrendered the safety, we know they don't want to do that again. That is just one of those oddities in scoring that we get. There's nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Lawrence Taylor in there to record another sack, and that is now six on the afternoon for this defensive unit. On second down, this is Jackson. And he's got Rome. He's at the 40. Pass the 20. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. A big play there, 77 yards. 
as his guys are able to pull a bit closer. So the touchdown was big, this almost equally big, as he'll try to get it to a one-score game with a two-point conversion. They'll try and run it here. And this will result in him losing yardage back to the three. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And this is secured by the Patriots. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. From the shotgun, Griffin. And he'll lay out and pull it in. What a diving catch there. Give him 19 there as the drive marches forward. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Now Griffin on first down. He goes full extension, and he's got it. And he'll be out of bounds. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll try and run for it with Bo. Now he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. A great effort there. Oh, it's a fake. They'll try and throw for it. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. He's going to let it fly. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off, Byron Jones. And he returns it into enemy territory, down to the 45-yard line. Johnson, the intended target. After the interception, here's Griffin. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. 20! And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. 36 yards on the play. Boy, another big play late here for offense, Charles. It certainly has had its fair share of big plays. Coverage has been a problem all game long. And I would say that going along with that, it's been confidence, because even if they had the right coverage, they've still dented it, and now it's been a real issue for them during this game. A gain of seven that time, second goal. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. 52 is the mic right here over there, right? 52 is the mic. Quarterback, don't get nervous now. We ain't going to Griffin going to throw it. That is caught by Rice for a Patriots touchdown. The three-yard touchdown pass. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. Extra point by Stinnerud, up and good. And that pushes the lead up to 23. Following the touchdown, here's Stinnerud to kick it away. 